Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the reishi mushroom. This fungi is so fabulous, it's been dubbed the miracle mushroom. We're gonna start off with a bit of history, what it looks like, what its medicinal uses are, and how you could use it too. Legend has it that this magical mushroom holds the key to immortality. Okay, maybe not so much in the Highlander sense. <laughs> But this fungi has some seriously impressive health benefits. Reishi has been used in China for over 2,000 years. In the old days, it apparently only royalty had access to it. But don't worry, my fungi-loving friends. These days, us commoners can access it too. So what does it look like? Well, as luck would have it, I have a dried specimen right here. So Reishi, also known as Ganoderma lucidum, or Lingji, is a shiny, kidney-shaped fungi with a red, purple, or brown cap. It's got a woody texture, so it's not something that you really want to toss on your pizza. You'll often find reishi growing on hardwood trees like oaks or maple, and in North America I've also heard of it growing on hemlock. They're most commonly found on dead or dying trees in the forest. So what is it about reishi that makes it such a powerful mushroom? Well, it comes down to the compounds that you find within it. It's packed full of triterpenoids, polysaccharides, and beta-glucans. Think of these as the mushroom magic that works wonders with your body. It's also reported to be full of vitamins, amino acids, and various minerals, which on paper make it a powerhouse of wellness. So all this sounds very fancy, but ultimately, what can you use it for? Well, in traditional Chinese medicine, it's been used for boosting immune system health. It's reported to help modulate immune response, so it can keep you healthy and strong. People People use it for reducing stress and to help you sleep better. And like many other fungi, it has a number of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. The antioxidants essentially protect your body's cells from damage. And the anti-inflammatory properties essentially help with various different health conditions. Heart health is a big one. Some studies show that it can help low cholesterol and blood pressure. Some studies show that it can also support your liver. The liver is all about detoxifying your body. So any help that can get is always a winner. There have been a number of studies to show that it could potentially support cancer therapy as well. Not replacing things like chemotherapy, but actually making it more effective. Some studies also show that it may help regulate blood sugar. If you're interested in looking at some of the studies investigating these reported health benefits, then take a look at the links I've provided below. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, it is worth noting that although there have been substantial studies to show the potential benefits of consuming reishi mushroom. It is also worth noting that some studies have yielded inconclusive results. This variation in results can come down to a number of things, such as sample size, whether things were tested on humans, how the reishi has been prepared, and what kind of dosage was involved. But if you're like me and you're convinced with the benefits of taking reishi, then you have a number of avenues open to you. You could forage for reishi mushroom to find it in the first place, if you're in the UK like me, reishi is not all that common. We do have other fungi which are closely related to it, which are far more easily accessible. And I'll cover some of these in a later video. If you are fortunate enough to have some of your own dried reishi like this, then what you can do is actually blend it and turn it into a powder and use that powder to make a tea. That is by far the easiest way to consume it if you have some dry material. You could also make a tincture and add that to a beverage of your choice, or you can buy reishi supplements in either powder or tablet form. For me personally, I buy my own powder and I turn them into capsules myself, just because it's a bit more cost effective than buying the ready-made capsules. I personally started supplementing with reishi mushroom over a year ago now. For me personally, I found that it's had quite a calming effect on me. I'm feeling myself less stressed. Work is absolutely bonkers and historically that would have caused me a lot of stress and maybe some sleepless nights. However, I've actually been quite calm with it. The other thing that I found, which is way more out there, and I'm yet to be completely convinced myself, is that I've always been quite severely gluten intolerant. And what I found after taking the reishi supplements is that my gluten intolerance seems to have reduced somewhat. This is purely anecdotal, but in the last two or three months, I've been experimenting with things like sourdough bread and even normal freshly baked white bread, and I haven't had the kind of symptoms that I've had previously. And for me, this is breaking out in spots, heavy wheezing and ultimately diarrhea. Maybe that's a bit too much information for you. So for me, I'm gonna continue with it, see how I go and see if I continue to improve. So that was a very quick overview of the potential health benefits of the reishi mushroom. If you are interested in other medicinal mushrooms, then take a look at this video I made here about the turkey tail mushroom and the potential fantastic benefits that this mushroom has too. See you soon.